And now, your first alert weather. Yeah, cold but beautiful outside, and we have more of this to come for the next couple of days, plus areas of freezing fog. We have high pressure and we have an inversion. That's with high pressures pushing down on us. It's trapping in the cold air in the lower elevations, and it's very tough to scour out that cold air, especially when you have light winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And plus, we had that moisture over Thanksgiving, and that's adding to the fog threat. We have some moisture, we have a little bit of snow on the ground in some places, and we have the recipe to see some freezing fog. And that fog could get pretty thick at times, like we saw earlier this morning near the Pocatello Airport leading to that accident. 23 right now at the Idaho Falls Airport, 26 in Pocatello, and we have 28 in Jackson. Same for Salmon right now, but nothing showing up here on First Alert Viper Radar. We're going to continue to keep high pressure in command here for the next couple of days. Currently, the ridge of high pressure is centered over Oregon, so we're pulling in the cold air down in from the north, keeping it chilly, and also just reinforcing that cold air because we have more cold air seeping in from the north. It's getting trapped in the Snake River Plain and the surrounding valleys. And again, the high pressure capping the atmosphere. Then we start to shake things up. As we get into Friday and Saturday, yes, we do have a chance for some snowy weather. Starting Friday morning for our local mountains, a few snow showers getting into lower elevations. But I'm looking at more widespread snow coming in here for both Saturday and Sunday. At this point, though, I really can't give you a good idea on the amount of snow at this point. It's too soon to tell how much snow we're looking at here for the weekend. Just know, though, Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be messy if you're traveling with scattered snow, not just locally, but for the region. A check of the Viper cast tonight showing us that we have areas of fog trying to settle into portions of the Snake River Plain and also in some of the surrounding mountain valleys. More of that fog coming in here for as we get into Wednesday. So for Tuesday afternoon, we clear out. We have mostly sunny skies, but then getting into Wednesday morning, we have more of the scattered hits of fog in the forecast and from the fog you might get a few flurries, but also you can get some of that ice glazing area roadways early in the morning. As a result, the National Weather Service issuing an air advisory for portions of the Snake River Plain, and that's because we're going to be looking at the chances of overnight early morning fog taking hold across the region, and that continues all the way till Thursday. Temperatures coming in a bit shy for the seasonal norms. That would be normally in the upper 30s for this time of the year, and we're just scraping into the lower 30s for those afternoon highs. Elsewhere, we're looking about freezing from Montpelier tomorrow with cold air sinking. 36 for Preston, 34 for Lava. Highs in Rexburg at 31 with 41 in Jackson and 32 for the high in Island Park. Jackson's actually going to be a bit warmer than the Snake River Plain thanks to the temperature inversion. We got highs here close to 40 for Wednesday with a 39. Then we're at 35 for Thursday. Scattered snow this weekend and continuing into Monday of next week. Rexburg, a high of 37 for Wednesday, 34 for Thursday. And we're right at freezing this Saturday with scattered snow showers and gusty winds in the mix for the entire weekend ahead. As we go to central Idaho, 29 for Salmon, 34 for Chalice. And Chalice getting pretty cold tonight with a low of 9. Two below tonight in Stanley. Stanley's going to be warmer than the Snake River Plain, again, thanks to the inversion. 30 for the high Wednesday in Salmon, and we're into the upper 30s with some passing clouds Thursday and Friday. Looking at a few clouds on Saturday with a high of 38. Moving into Idaho Falls, high of 33 for tomorrow, 32 for Rigby and Blackfoot, and 34 for Pocatello. The extended forecast showing us the frigid temperature sticking around for the next couple of days with areas of fog right at freezing in Blackfoot with a high of 32 for Wednesday. Moving over to Pocatello and Idaho Falls, a similar outlook here. We got temperatures hanging out to the mid to lower 30s, but consistent temperatures here for the next few afternoons in the Gate City. Lows dipping down to the teens and 20s. Slightly warmer weather for the weekend with the arrival of that snowfall. And then Idaho Falls right at freezing here for the next couple of afternoons. We got overnight lows down to the teens. Watch out for that freezing fog at times. Not everybody sees the fog, but it can roll up on you pretty quick if you're driving on the interstate or or those area highways. Watch out for snow this weekend with some gusty winds. Todd, over to you. All right, Michael, thanks. When we come back, the numbers are in. This Thanksgiving weekend was one for the record books. This SkyCam network.